Right. It's a bit stiff, that wheel. Lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> problem hello everybody and welcome um i thought i'd bring you along to have a little look at this so this is a 2006 hyundai gets and what it's got is a very stuck front right wheel so customer stated that uh the reason they actually bought it here is we've got a catalytic efficiency code uh, for the catalytic converter. It's already been to a previous garage, they've replaced 202 sensors. Um, it's a 1.1 petrol with a manifold cat that is absolutely tiny. I would imagine the cat is actually destroyed inside, most likely, especially as the engine was a litre and a half over full of oil. We've drained the oil down um, and we're going to do something about the cat, but like I said, that's not what this video is about. This wheel is... <coughs> Now, you could say that I'm making up that up, but watch this. Now, you might not believe how stuck that is. Small torque wrench. That's 20 newton meters. And it does not move. So let's try 30. I do use this as a trick if you're trying to work out if there's a problem with a wheel on a car, if you've got a bit of drag on them. That's 30 newton meters. Now, if you've got 30 newton meters of drag on your wheel, you've got a problem. So let's just send this right up. Now, there's no way that can be 40, is there? Okay, I need a bigger torque wrench in a minute. Just, just to prove it. Yeah, so, oh, focus, that's 50, let's go 60. Just moved. So that's almost 60 newton meters of torque. For a 1.1 petrol engine, I bet this thing handles really badly. I've not actually driven it up the road, and to be honest, when I noticed that the brakes seemed to be stuck on, I kind of wasn't that keen on the idea of driving it up the road. So, yeah, that strange torque wrench test, I do use that sometimes just to see how much drag is, if, like, if we suspect that there's a caliper dragging up, but you obviously haven't got to the vehicle when it's been used. So instead of taking it on a five mile test drive, just to try to heat the brakes up, you can use this just to see if one is hanging up more than the rest. So, let's peel this wheel off. Little biscuit. Let's have a look at what we can see. So we can see that disc has been some hot. I'll be honest, that has been horrifically warm. See how it's gone black inside? That's because that's been hot. All right, let's get a torch and have a look and see what we can see. <clears throat> so, brake pads are very low. Now the question is, is this a problem with the caliper? This flexi hose, is it holding pressure because the hose is damaged? Or, yeah, well, to be fair, we've got a little bit of pad life on the inside, or is it seized on these sliders here, which is possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do no six plate car so this may not work I'll be honest is 
that's interesting. It looks slightly wet. What we're going to do is undo the bleed screw and just see if we have back pressure, because if we have back pressure here and it releases, then it means we've got a collapsed flexi or a problem with the system further up. The only problem is, is that's going to be tight. So what do we reckon the chances are? It went all right. Let's see. Nope. And that is still locked on. So the fault doesn't appear to be in the brake fluid line itself, which means we are looking at the caliper all the sliders being seized. So now we need to get a spanner and undo these bolts. Well, undo the bottom bolt because the top one's in the caliper. The calipers are, I'm going to say very. They are way more money than I would like to pay for a caliper for a little 1.2, to be honest. But I've got a sneaky suspicion we're going to be seized in this top pin. So I think it's an 11. Maybe it's 12. No. It's not got the greatest head on it, I'll be honest. Okay, that one came undone. That was, wasn't too bad. came out no real rust or anything on that that looks quite clean now we're going to try some pry bars and some let's see if we can get it no oh that sounds oh, oh that's so stuck No, not the sliders. That piston looks very rusty. Yep, yeah, pads have released. So it is this caliper is our culprit, which means it needs a brake caliper. I could mess around and try and get this to release. We juggle badly. pick and just have a look under that edge there shall we uh, uh, to be fair that caliper actually doesn't look that bad but it is not pressing back um to be honest, the inside of the caliper almost looks like it's a reconditioned one that's been previously enjoyed, to be entirely fair. Because it looks shiny inside here, like it's been painted. Uh, I'm going to need to force this back and see how hard it goes. Now, it is possible that this is just seized because it's been sat around a lot, because it's only got 80,000 miles on a... Yeah, 60, 06, 2006. We've been sat around a lot and not done many miles. So that could be the reason. On the other hand, it could just be that the caliper's going to be internally stuck. Oh, there it goes. Fell off the slide pin. Yeah, it's got a lot of water in there. So it has been sat around a lot. So, what do we reckon? Oh, yeah, that's... 
If it's going, let's shoot the face there. If it's possible, it will free off. But possible, oh, punch in the face again. And whether it's going to stay freed off, two different questions. It's not really freeing off, I'll be honest. That's pretty solid all the way back. Yeah. That's taken a lot of force to push that back there. I'll be honest. What I'm now going to do is get the ladder and I'm going to go just push the brake pedal and push that back out. Coming out, if you could just hollow at me when it's far enough, that would be appreciated. Holler at me when you think it's far enough. Yeah, no. A bit too much to ask. All right, we've come out fair ways. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some silicon grease around here and push it back again. Bit of silicon grease and a pick. Silicon grease because it's not going to hurt the rubber. No, we do. Slip that. Oops. It says, says words. And there, like that. Let's move that round. And the idea is just to. If it squishes back, it'll just give it something to push up against. And the silicon should get into the seal there and just free it up because rubber, when it goes dry, and this is generally the reason that brake calipers seize, rubber, when it goes dry, it um, can nip, which is why I put that silicon grease on O-rings for fuel filters and oil filters and stuff like that and even like if you've got wind back brake calipers put it on the, under the rubber on here so that the rubber doesn't snag as you're winding it back all right so actually that does appear maybe slightly easier not convinced I'm going to call it fixed yet yeah. but well not if they have to go for a new caliper that's fine but I'd like to get the catalytic converter sorted first and make sure that that's absolutely fine before I start recommending you know a hundred pound brake caliper I said, want to do the flexi, it's another 30 pounds, 35 pounds, I think it was. So, you know, 135 pounds there plus brake pads, discs. See so, yeah, how that gets very expensive, and you end up spending 300 pounds on brakes on the front of a car. And at this point, that's not even all the way back yet. It's far enough to go on there, but. Right, let's push that back out and just see if that's as hard or easier than it was before. I don't think that took as much force, although it's not pushing that out as far as I thought it would. Back in again. So ideally, if you was going to call this fixed on your own car, you would want this to wind back quite easily by hand, almost push back by fingers to be honest. It's a bit big this cup. Just gonna 
change that for something else. Right, I'll find it back in another time. And now I'm going to push the brakes. Pedal quite hard. And we'll see if it sticks on. Is that now yeah it's stuck on it's gonna to have to have a new caliper there's no if buts and maybes about it it is just seized inside it's moving freer than it was but as you can see now I can move that with my bar but it's still sticking those brakes right up It's not the pad binding, it is definitely the caliper. So, we are going to get a caliper ordered for that. We shall have a conversation with the customer first to make sure that they're happy to go ahead with it. Uh, it's also going to end up having discs and pads on the front as well, because I am not happy about the condition of that disc, the way it's been overheated. So, we shall have a conversation with the customer and let them know what we found. So, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.